The job of the governor of Texas is to serve the people of our great state, not just some of them. Our governor, Greg Abbott, has been doing the opposite of this. Greg Abbott has a long history of blatant homophobia throughout his entire career as governor. In 2017, Abbott signed House Bill 3859. This bill provided protection to faith-based child welfare groups on the basis of discrimination. With this protection, these groups can refuse service to anyone under circumstances that conflict with the provider's sincerely held religious beliefs. Critics of this bill claim that the bill is simply an opportunity to allow child welfare groups, such as adoption agencies, the ability to turn away LGBTQ plus individuals from providing a loving home to foster or adopted children. In 2019, Abbott sent out a highly insensitive and discriminatory tweet. He retweeted an article about Chick-fil-A's decision to end funding to organizations with known anti-LGBTQ plus ties and added the caption, I'm heading to Bill Miller's tonight. That's not where the homophobic actions end. Later in 2019, two former members of the Disciplinary Board for Judges stated that the governor had ousted them for punishing a Waco judge for refusing to officiate same-sex marriages. The most recent discriminatory action on the part of the governor happened in October of this year. Greg Abbott and the Texas Board of Social Worker Examiners added seven severely unethical changes to the state's code of conduct for social workers. These changes allow social workers to turn away people due to sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. In regard to the changes, Greg Abbott's office stated, the code's non-discrimination protections went beyond protections laid out by the state law that governs how and when the state may discipline social workers. Steve Parks, a private practice social worker in Houston who primarily aids child trauma victims, told the Texas Tribune, the rule change was both a professional and personal gut punch. No person with these strong discriminatory tendencies should be allowed to serve in a position of such power. The man responsible for serving the entire state of Texas holds disdain in his heart and openly shows it for so many citizens of the state. It is more important now than ever to hold our elected officials accountable for their choices, and even better, to elect people who care. Go check out the National LGBTQ Task Force at www.thetaskforce.org. This organization is a nonprofit social justice advocacy organizing the grassroots power of the LGBTQ community. They focus on political advancements of the community, helping to bring down systemic discrimination.